Hi guys, today I want to talk about this equation, I equals a n v q. It's new in the syllabus, so if you're taking the Cambridge International A level uh, from 20, uh, six, uh, yeah, 2016 onwards, uh, it's there. And we need to talk about it and where it comes from. You guys need to know the derivation. Uh, they could ask it in the exam. Uh, so this is something that you need to be aware of. So first, let's just talk about the equation itself. I is the current in a wire. A is the cross-sectional area. N is the number of free electrons per meters cubed of that material. Uh, next up, we've got V. Now, be very careful. V, it's not voltage. It's the average drift velocity in meters per second uh, of the electrons in the wire as they're moving. And then Q is the electron charge, uh, just for the, the charge for one of these electrons, 1.6 times into the minus 19 coulombs. Okay, so we're going to go backwards in time, uh, looking at a previous equation that you should have seen in IGCSE. So I equals Q over T. So I is current, Q is charge, and T is time. And what we're going to do is take those things from the, the previous equation, try to mash them all together and get something that equals charge, and do the same thing for time as well. And then uh, you'll see where the the new equation is coming from. So firstly with our derivation I want you to imagine we've got a material, a wire, it's got a length L and a cross-sectional area A and this material it's got a number of free electrons per unit volume or per meters cubed and we're going to call that N. Now the volume of our material is L times by A and therefore the number of free electrons well that's going to equal N times L times A so the total free charge that can move, so the big Q, okay, or the capital Q from the previous slide, is going to equal the volume time, oh sorry, the number of electrons times by the charge of one of our electrons. So that's N L A uh, Q. Okay, little Q, not big Q for the total charge. Okay. Now the time part of our equation. So now we're looking at so we know I equals Q over T. Now we're looking at the time part. Well, the time for all these electrons to emerge from the end is L over V. Okay, so we know I equals Q over T. So we found out that big capital Q, the total charge, is equal to NLAQ. Divided by the time taken for these electrons to leave is going to be L over V. Now, if you see, we've got the L's on the top and the bottom, so they obviously cancel. And then V can go to the top. And that leaves me with I equals A N V Q. Okay, guys, I hope that's been useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.